The following video contains subject matter and footage that some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, good morning. My name is Mike. This is our Wyoming Life. And we've got a little bit of a situation happening out here on the ranch. Um, so last year we kept back like five heifers and we actually didn't breed those heifers. We wanted, they were small. Um, we wanted them to wait an extra, you know, year or so before we bred them. Unfortunately, one of them, when we preg checked, turned up bread. So we knew that we had one of those heifers that was pregnant. And today it looks like she's in labor. So that's her right there. You can see the way she's holding her tail. Her bag is pretty full. My first plan for today's video, crooked. First plan for today's video was actually to take you through calving. Um, I wanted to talk about what was happening inside the cow's body and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, yeah, we have a slight change of plans as we come into this emergency. So um, I've got to try to get this four wheeler started. Our plan is to get her moved inside and it is uh, minus 13 degrees outside right now. So we want to get her moved inside where it's a little bit warmer and we're able to help her out if she needs help. This is a first time mom, so who knows um, how she's gonna do it. And I don't know how long she's been in labor. I found her this morning when I went out to feed. I really wasn't expecting any calves or cows uh, to be in labor and any calves to arrive today. So we are gonna go get her and bring her in. First, I gotta get this dang four wheeler started. Like I said, it's really cold. So nothing's wanting to work for me right now. Out of juice. That's not going to work. Let's go get the gator and uh, we're going to try moving her with that. So, technically, um, technically, what I would what I would do actually in the perfect situation is I would have that four wheeler inside the shop where it's a little bit warmer. Um, like I said, not really, really quite ready to start calving yet, and I should know better, but um, I do actually, you know what? We're going to. We're gonna go out there and take a look at her. We might be able to move her in um, without a four wheeler. We're gonna try and see what happens here. So she's right out here with the rest of these cows. Everything, and I mean everything, is frozen right now. So let's see if I can get this gate closed. Close. We're gonna be bringing her up this way. And all I can really say is that I hope that this story um, has a happy ending. I can't really guarantee anything at this point. But we're definitely going to try as hard as we can. Getting gates set ahead of time hopefully will save us a little bit of time when we do have to move her in here. Not sure exactly where she went. When I found her, there she is. She was uh, inside this lot, so I get, did close the gates there so she couldn't leave. But the interesting thing about heifers is obviously they've never had a calf before, so she doesn't know where she would go anyway. This is all new to her, so hopefully she's not in a bad mood about the whole thing. We're gonna see if we can't get her up in the barn. So that's her right there. You can see the way she's holding her tail. Her bag is pretty full. She's actually number 14, so she's not a heifer. That is an older cow. Come on, girl. We need you to go inside. 
that is an older cow. And we need a we need something to move her then. Come on, girl. Come on. I thought it was one of our bred heifers. It is not. She is an older cow that's in labor, which means she's definitely early and she's not happy with me out here walking around. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm definitely gonna need a vehicle to move her through here, so. Go back and try that four-wheeler one more time. With her being an older cow now, and we can look her up and see exactly how old she is, how many calves she's had, it's surprising that she didn't go wander off and kind of do her own thing. She was right over here when I first noticed her this morning. I'm gonna take a quick look around just to make sure she didn't slough her calf. That's my big concern now is that she was in labor and uh, had her calf and it was already dead when she had it. But I'm not seeing anything up in the barn. That would indicate Anything has had a calf on here. Well, there's a big wet spot here. That could be pee. Also, it could have been somebody's water broke. Nothing up here in the barn gives me uh, any indication or any worry. But I still, I want to get her in. So we can take a look, see what we got going on and see if she needs help having this calf. If I could get that dang four-wheeler to start, that would be handy. I'm not holding my breath. But we'll try it one more time. Come on. All right, that ain't working. All right, we're gonna head and grab the gator. I normally don't move cows with the gator, especially in this kind of situation, just because they equate the gator with food a lot of times, but we're really left with no choice here. Okay, gator should start, I would hope. Look at that, okay. Let's go get ourselves a cow. Here's the thing, if we have a calf today, it's gonna be at least three months, or three weeks, three months, three weeks um, early. That's not good either, but She's definitely in labor. She has a bag, which is a good sign. That means she has milk. And milk is a good thing, as everybody knows. Oh, gosh, a little bit of ice there. The snow, obviously a bit of a pain. More, you know, more than the snow, it's the ice everything's frozen down all right let's go find her again coming back through into this uh field where we have her locked in there she is right up there see the tail swinging that's her she's none too happy you see her stance she's got her back legs spread there that's probably more for comfort than anything hey girly i know you're mad at me come on that way so we're trying to get her down through that gate hi you're not helping come on girly this is stupid 
stupid. Come on, Mama. Nope. You're too smart. Now I'm gonna make you really mad here before we even get in the barn. Come on. Let's get in the barn. Let's have our calf in a nice warm barn. Not out here. These big cows. See, they all think I have food in the gator. So they're all following me around. She's following me around. Oh, well, she's not wanting to follow me at all. Come on, girl. Go that way. Get you right down in the trenches here. Oh, there's another cow going in there. That might not be a bad thing altogether. We got cows back here thinking we got food. We got her thinking we're just being mean. We got Bambi up there just watching the whole thing happen. got her in. Next stop for her is up in the barn. She's kind of moving that way already. No, she's not. Come on, mama. Nope. Let's go. No, 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 no. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, that's as far as we're going to be able to go with the gator. Now I want to hold her up in this area so that she can't leave and she's stuck here with us. Hey. No, Mama. Hey, turn around. I don't know if you'll fix me there. Thanks, please. I know I lied, I said we were done with the gator, but we're gonna see. We can't get her to go a little farther. If I can get her up in the barn, problem is that if I get her up in the barn, I'm not sure I can keep her there. But we'll try. Come on, girly. Head into the barn. There you go. Girl, good, good, good. Now get in that stall. Get in that stall. No, no, no. I want you to go back in the barn. Go in the barn. Hey, don't worry about the pigs. Go in the barn. Get in that stall. All right, we got her in a stall where we want her. Hey, no, 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 get back in there, turn around. All right, whatever. I think I can maybe close this door a little bit, but not much. All right. Hey, mama. Come on, Mama. No, turn around. Go back the other way. 
Okay, whatever you want to do. Hey. We got her installed. This is good. I'm gonna move the gator out of the way. Bent my light. So we got her in the barn. There she is. Not a happy camper at all. Peacock, what are you doing, bud? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Knock that off. Hey, hey, now is your, is your head stuck in there? Really? There. Jeez Louise. Now what we got to do is move her down into here. We're going to get her into this head chute, um, this head catch. But to do that, we got to get her down into this area, which is a little bit of a trick. So we're going to open up this gate and see if we can get her to go through. Come on, girly. Hey, door's open. Come on, go through there. Good girl. And we are going to swap sides with her. this way. She is. She's in no no pain. She's a little cranky, but she's not in any pain, so that's a good thing. All right, I gotta grab some stuff, and I'll be back, and we'll take a look at what we have going on on the back side of this cow. know that we're in trouble um, she's definitely early how early not exactly sure actually I should do really quick I'll just go. hey get back up girl we're gonna take a quick look here I just want to see who she is and what she's doing Hey, get up. Hey, come on, get up. Hey, get up. Stop it. Stop laying down. She keeps on trying to lay down. All right, let me take a look here. I have horrible internet out here in the barn. 
Okay, I'm gonna search for her though. 14, green tag. There she is. See, she's seven years old, so she's done this a few times. Had a few calves. We're hoping she can have a lot more after the day. best friend in any situation. Hey, knock it off. You're okay. Hey, come on. Just want to see what's going on. I need my bar. I'm going to put this bar in. self-included. Stop it. Stop it. Hey. I can feel the head of a calf right there. Okay, so there's a calf there ready to come out. There you go. Hey, can you push? You can get a hold of the leg maybe. There we go. We might be able to do this today. Here's a leg and there's a foot. All right, so I got a foot. That's a really good start. All right, so we got two feet. All right. Okay, we're doing good, Mama. You're doing great. Her water's already broke, so it's probably a good thing if we can just get this calf out. as soon as possible. Whether it's alive or not, that is definitely the question of the hour. There's our feet. All right, girly. Can you push? Aaron got me an Apple Watch for Christmas. It's right there. <laughs> Don't let me forget it. All right, let's see what we can keep on making happen here. Those feet are right there. So really, she's just a couple good pushes away from working on getting this calf out. There's her feet. Big thing is, is this calf alive? That's a good question. I haven't felt anything that would give me any indication that this calf is alive yet. I would like to. That would make my day. Come on, girl. Help me out just a little bit. Okay. Come on, little one. Come on, you're right there. Come on. I need a big push, Mom. Grab some straps here. Get these on while I can. I know. I know. I can't really. This is my first time actually trying using straps. Can't say I'm a huge fan so far. Just wait a minute. Give it a minute here, kiddo.
come on, baby. All right, this isn't progressing as fast as I would like it to. So I am actually gonna run and grab a ratchet, a puller, a mechanical puller, to try to make this happen a little faster. I'm also gonna see if I can get a bunch of lube up in here, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Try to move things along. Okay, so this is our mechanical puller. I really don't like using this thing for obvious reasons, but I do think that we are in a situation where we kind of have to, so. Loop this up and over the cow. Put that in here. And this is straps as well, so I don't know. If this Come on, I can do that. Tongue, I can see the calf's tongue. There we go. Now it comes the calf. Doesn't look like it's alive. way too early steer calf not really a good day Just, well not a good way to start your day anyway so, my guess would be the calf died in utero. She was in the process of aborting the calf. That's when we found her. Obviously, she wasn't able to get it out by herself. And us being able to get it out for her actually does help because if this calf didn't come out, it would rot inside her and would kill her as well. So, this calf never had a chance at all. So now the calf is gone. Nothing we can do about that. We move on to treating mom and making sure that she's going to be healthy. So number 14 here is a seven year old cow. Um, she's got a few calves left in her, hopefully. Obviously she lost her calf today and this season, which is, you know, nine months of an unproductive cow. Um, so, but like I said, um, we wanna make sure she's healthy at this point. So we're gonna come inside the shop and grab some stuff for her. While we have her in the chute, we might as well treat her and, uh, and get her taken care of. First thing I'm gonna give her is uh, a couple of these giant boluses. These are after birth boluses. Um, these we administer oral orally, but I have some other ones that go on the other end. We're also gonna go with some inner uterine boluses, um, which will help with infection if she has any also. Okay, she's not gonna let me put a pill down her mouth. She's too agitated for that. So we're actually just gonna give her a push strap um, with some antibiotics in it. Hopefully help her out a little bit. So here I've got some Exceed, which is a long course antibiotic, 
the uterine bolus is in. Uh, my camera fell down, so I didn't get a shot of that. Um, but what we're going to do now is give her this shot and then, uh, yeah, talk about what just happened. Hey, quit jumping around. Hey, stop it. You're making me push the bolt, but I need to. There you go. Okay. Come along with me. We'll open up some gates and get ready to let her go. Um, this is the first calf. You know, I'm going to put my coat back on. A little chilly. out in a minute. I'm gonna go open gates and stuff. I think it's warmed up a little bit. Not much. Okay, so um she didn't quite take her calf all the way to term. That calf was extremely thin, very little fat on it. Um, wasn't quite done cooking, if you ask me, but I'm not sure what exactly happened. That would have caused her. To abort that calf and go into premature labor like that. Um, We've had calves that size that have been born alive before. So it's not, I don't know. I mean, who knows what it is. Um, like I said, when that when it happens, you have to switch gears. You have to go, okay, all of a sudden, we're not worried about the calf anymore. We're now worried about moms, just like this one. Hey girl, why are you not happy with me? What did I do to you? I didn't do anything to you. Don't be a turd. <laughs> She's not happy with me either. Nobody's happy with me this morning. Okay, um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so you switch gears. You're worried about the calf. You switch gears, now you're worried about mom. Now, mom, is a part of our breeding herd, which means she's not a, a state cow. She's not a steer, obviously, but um, we can give her antibiotics without having to worry about the meat at all. So that's good. And we can take care of her and try to make her as happy as we can. I'm gonna get this gator out of here. So we let her out, she doesn't run it over again. And making sure that mom is okay is really important um, for the future. Whether she stays on the ranch or not, that's kind of the question that we're faced with. And we say, okay, is she viable to keep? Will she lose another calf? You know, what kind of thing's gonna happen there? That's the, that's something we have to worry about. And we probably won't have the answer to that question until we preg check again and we're able to have a vet um, take a look at her with ultrasound and she'll be able to tell if there's any damage um, to the uterus or anything like that I think uh, one of the things I mean I always learn when stuff like this happens there's always a learning factor um, which is why I'm not you know you got to take the best out of out of everything so I'm gonna take I learned something from this and um, number one uh, being able to act is a big thing
you have to be able to, to see a problem, act on that problem, and have faith in what you're doing. We're gonna let her out really quick here, and I'll finish talking to you. Go ahead, push. Push. Come on. Push. And we'll just follow her out here. At least part of the way. Hey, kiddo. How you doing? Anyway, um, you learn something. You're able to take that knowledge and, and use it in the future also because obviously you have to make a decision. You have to say, okay, I'm gonna act on this. Or you can say I'm not, which is, you know, sometimes fine too. You can't always wait and see what happens. But <laughs> she's long gone, she's out of here. Um, waiting to see isn't always the, the best thing in the world either. Sometimes acting isn't the best thing in the world. I can tell you though, my first indication that something was wrong once we got that cow in the barn and I was able to get a hold of that calf was, well, there was a couple of them. Um, number one, the water bag that that calf is in um, had already broken. So sometime in the night, she had started labor. And actually what I think we saw um, was the very, like the end of her labor. I mean, she's tired, she's done. She's ready to hang it up. So um, who knows how long she had been pushing. The other thing was that the hair on the calf's leg was coming out. Um, there's nothing there to hold that hair in anymore. There's no, however that works, <laughs> there, uh, there wasn't anything left. So that's, the, that's, uh, that's my morning. I hope you had a better morning than I did. The only thing that I can really think of is, you know, we've got not that many cows out there that are pregnant. Um, after the restructure of the ranch and, and, and changing how things are done, I think um, there's only 30 some, 38 cows out there that are pregnant. Um, we lost one about a month ago. Uh, we lost mom and the calf, almost the same exact situation, except for we didn't catch that she was in labor at all. And we just saw her acting weird. I brought her in. Um, the calf was decomposing inside her. She had infection um, and she passed away a couple days later after us, we were trying to save her, but it didn't work. Um, so, um, you know, 38 cows, we've lost two already. And with the restructuring of how things are going, um, <laughs> it's not a very good start, I guess. But it is what it is. Um, we're gonna keep moving forward. Calving is just around the corner, I think. I'm still gonna do that calving video. I wanna talk about um, what we're looking for in calving and, uh, and how, the, how calving progresses, um, all that and how a normal calf is born and, uh, and one that puts a smile on your face at the very end. So while this is not good, this is what we would consider a tragedy. Um, it's an emergency that didn't end well. Um, we do try to take something out of it and that's a learning opportunity um, that, that uh, um, hopefully we can take something and, and, and learn from that and uh, move forward because that's all we can really do. So anyway, <laughs> I was really hoping for a better outcome. I really was. I was, I was hoping that it have a happy ending. I, hoped, I was really hoping we were gonna have a calf on the ground. And that's why I think when we first went out, I was really hoping it was that heifer um, because she could have had her calf right now. We, we really don't know when she was bred. So would have been a better chance of survival if it would have been that heifer. Once I saw it was a cow, I knew she was three, three, at least three weeks early, you know. Thank you. Let me pick your nose for you. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends. Isn't that right? 
that's today's video. It may not be today's video. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I'll go in and talk to Aaron and we'll say, do we want to put this video out? Do we, do we want to put this video out? Do we want to... We'll probably end up putting it out. YouTube won't monetize this video, by the way. So if you do want to support us, support our Wyoming life, support ranchers that are selling directly to end consumer, whatever you want to do, you can head to our website, ourwyomingwife.com and check out some beef jerky. You can become a Patreon supporter and be able to order um, beef and pork uh, directly from the website. Also, if you're a Patreon supporter, that only costs $1 per month. So if you can do that, that's great. If you can't, you can at least subscribe, mash that button, hit the little bell, make sure you get notifications. So when you know, so you know what, what's going on around here on the ranch. Guys, I am, I'm pretty much done. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's like noon already. So um, I'm gonna head in and, uh, and call it a day. Thanks for coming along, appreciate it. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. Mm -hmm.